Hey guys, welcome! I'm so excited that you have joined the virtual paint party with Kinsley's Creative Palette. You are in for a wild ride. We are so excited to have you join us. Um, and I just wanted to kind of tell you like what you're getting into so that you can um, be prepared. So first off, I had to make some notes because I didn't want to forget anything. Um, the first thing I want you to do is to join the Facebook group. The link is down below and you just click over there and um, click the join button and I will accept you. Another thing is I have resources listed in my Amazon store as well as on my website. Um, I sell paintbrushes and paint so you can buy those starter sets from me or you can get them from Amazon or you can get them at Walmart. Um, but I have put my favorite resources in my Amazon store so that you don't have to wade through pages and pages and pages of products trying to figure out what it is that you need. Um, supplies that you're going to want, this is where you're going to want to jot some notes down. Paint, which if you're shopping local, um, the Apple Barrel paint from Walmart is great. I love the Deco Art paint from um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michaels also has good paint, so really you just kind of have to test it out and see what it is that you like. Um, but always, always you can go with the Walmart Apple Barrel and you'll be fine. So I don't want you to think you have to buy something super special. Brushes. My favorite brushes, let me just show you. Um, oh, I got to wash one. Isn't that terrible? Okay, so these come in a pack. And I can't remember if Walmart sells them or not, but they're humongous and they're great for base coating really quickly. Like you can paint so fast with these. Um, so I do recommend that you get a set of these really big and I like plastic um, handles because I leave mine in my water cup way too often. So you'll need brushes. The other type of brushes I like are these triangular handled brushes. Let me show you this one. Um, it just has a triangular handle. They're, they they stay pretty, sh um, what would you say? They're not loose. They, they stay pretty tight so that you can paint um, better details. And then the last type of brushes that you will probably want, and let me find one, is some type of small detail brush. So I usually have a couple detail brushes sitting next to me. Um, Paint markers, you can buy the paint markers that um, Walmart and Hobby Lobby and those places carry, but I will tell you nothing touches these Uniposca pens. These are amazing. Um, I order them from Amazon, they're in my Amazon store. A lot of times when I letter, I will use carbon paper, like I'll give y'all a traceable, where you put carbon paper behind it and you trace it onto your sign, and then I use markers or these small detail paintbrushes to go back and do that lettering or those details. So you'll need that. Um, and carbon paper, you get like 50 sheets for $7 or something crazy and it'll last you for years. So um, that's in the Amazon store as well. I use disposable paper plates for my paint. Summertime, let me give you a little tip. During the summer, Dollar Tree has these buckets. They're usually two or three for a dollar. They make the best paint water buckets um, because they don't tip over easily. They're heavy duty enough that even heavy paint brushes, you could put a bunch in here and it's not gonna fall over. So this is what I use for my water cups and this is what I use for my palette. Uh, you're gonna wanna keep a blow dryer handy when you're painting. Um, I mean, you can always walk away and let, let it dry but if you want to um, dry it quicker, then you just shoot it with a blow dryer and you can keep going. So you can paint your signs super fast. So if you only have an hour and a half or so to um, paint and you wanna get it all done, I would suggest having a blow dryer handy. Then to embellish your signs, you can get ribbon, um, any sort, and make bows to put on your signs. Um, you have two ways to hang them. You can either hang them with a wire, which you would drill two holes. I'm not going to be pre-drilling your holes anymore um, because so many of you have told me that you like to staple gun twine to the back. So um, that's your other option is a light duty 
um, staple gun with quarter inch staples, also in my Amazon store. And you can just staple those right onto the back of your sign. Um, I get my wire, I'll tell you all my secrets. I get my wire from Harbor Freight in this little thing. I don't know what it is. Um, it's stainless steel lock wire. A ton. Like this is enough to last you for a couple years at least. So, and I think it's like eight bucks. And you can use a 20% off coupon if you have a Harbor Freight. I think that's it. I uh, can't wait to see your first sign. Please, please, please show it to me. Like nothing makes me happier than seeing your signs and seeing your smiles while you're holding your signs. Um, so please, please, please show those to me and have fun. And always, always, if you have questions, just reach out and ask. I am always happy to help. So I can't wait to see you on the other side. Come join us in the Facebook group. Bye guys.